Ever feel that you're not getting enough Wi-Fi performance from your internet provider gateway, like AT&T Uverse or Verizon Fios? Netgear now makes it easy to maximize your Wi-Fi with your internet provider gateway by installing the Nighthawk router using the automatic installation wizard. To connect your Nighthawk with your provided equipment, follow the instructions found in the quick installation guide. Once your Nighthawk is connected, open a browser and navigate to routerlogin.net to launch the installation wizard. The wizard will automatically detect if you are connecting to an existing gateway. Depending on your network configuration, you can choose to install your router in access point or router mode. We recommend that you select the Help Me Choose option so that Genie can suggest the best mode for you. If Genie detects that you are connecting to an existing gateway, Netgear recommends that you install your Nighthawk in router mode so that you can use all of its features. To verify that router mode is appropriate for you, Genie will now ask you a few questions. Do you currently use advanced functions like port forwarding on your existing gateway? Unless you are an advanced user who has specifically set up these features on the Internet Provider Gateway, you want to select No on this screen. Can you disconnect all your other devices from the existing gateway and connect them to the Netgear router? We recommend that you select Yes and connect your devices directly to the Nighthawk. Your recommended operation mode, router, or access point will now be displayed. Click Next to continue. Can you disable your existing gateway's Wi-Fi? It's recommended that you disable the built-in Wi-Fi on your gateway to avoid wireless interference and performance degradation on your Nighthawk. You can find written instructions for disabling your gateway's Wi-Fi at support.netgear.com. But we'll show you the process with AT&T Uverse later in this video. Once you have selected Yes, fill out the fields with the details from your current Wi-Fi. Using the same network name and password as your current gateway, ensures that all your devices are automatically connected to your Nighthawk. Once the form has been completed, click Yes to apply these settings to your Nighthawk. Follow the on-screen instructions to complete the setup wizard. Once the wizard has completed, you will need to disable the Wi-Fi on your gateway. For AT&T Uverse gateways, navigate to 192.168.1.254 to log into the web-based control panel. If required, the password can be found on the AT&T Gateway. Once logged in, select Wireless. Under Wireless Interface, select Disabled from the drop-down list. Click Save to apply settings. Your Nighthawk is now set up and ready to power your network.